Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. I want to do a video for Empires and Allies, and this video is called Base Check Number 13. As you guys know, this is a series where we take three bases, random headquarter level, uh, usually by request, and we analyze those bases. We just put it up on the screen. I give my insight, and my overview, and you guys leave in the comments things that you would uh, adjust as well too. So the first person up for display is Ninja Assassin. Um, I don't do the spell check on these guys. I just uh, do it the way you guys send it to me. This might be the French Canadian spelling of assass assin. All right, so uh, first base we're taking a look at is uh, Ninja Assassin, and a couple things uh, that kind of jump out at me. First thing is the steel stockpile is just way over here. You heard way in left field. This is way over in right field. Uh, really doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose over there unless your strategy is to make them um, run up against the timer then I could see putting something over there but probably not that um, I would much rather see you get your tarmacs over here you could put the tarmacs over there and free up that space and put your uh, steel stockpile there it would make a little bit more sense because the tarmacs are just going to be ran over anyway um, the defense structure is pretty good I uh, like the dome defenses behind the walls. I think they're very well protected. The artillery behind the walls. Um, you know, for headquarter level nine, uh, a little bit low, I think, on the defense. I would probably max out my defenses before I move up another headquarter level. Uh, this is an experienced player. You know, you can see it is win loss record 99 and 0. So I know he's a very experienced attacker. But for this um, headquarter level, um, it, it looks like there's some pretty good thought that went into most of it. But I definitely think the steel stockpile could be brought in a little bit closer. And, um, you know, his defenses could be maxed up just a little bit more. Uh, feel free to leave in your comments, though, some things that you guys would like to see. And if uh, um, Ninja could put and maybe in the comments what his uh, defense record is, I'd like to see maybe some, some statistics to see what he's currently, um, you know, winning one out of two, two out of four, or whatever. So let's scroll through. I told you guys it's a long friends list. So I may drop some people off this friends list if I do. We're still friends. Um, just reach me via YouTube or Twitter, um, or I'll add you back later in game. But I need to make some room for some other people to do some of these base checks as well too. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the law. The law is headquarter level 13, and I know he was frustrated. He said uh, he was losing quite a bit. Uh, something that just jumps off the map at re me right now that I would love to see you change is. Um, See where I'm, I'm double tapping these, and you got like the two supply bunkers, you know, side by side, and then it's right beside a tower as well. You don't need those butted up against each other like that, and and totally up against the wall. You can actually move those out or move them, um, you know, spread them a little bit more so they're catty corner. Any def any attacker is going, they're going to stop there, and they're going to attack that first. So they're not going to go around it just because there's a small space in between that and the wall. So feel free to sort of spread it out a little bit more. Otherwise, you're set up for an A-10. No wonder people are, are crushing you because an A-10 or a Hellfire is going to take out two or three fixtures. A Hellfire would take out both of those uh, supply drops. So that's kind of two for one. If you make them caddy corner or bring them out a little bit more, each one of those things that you have in the middle of those walls, just spread them out so one missile cannot take out two fixtures. I think if you do that, uh, you'll probably have a lot better success rate. But once again, um, Law, if you can leave in the comments, kind of what your uh, record is and Sean and maybe a few other you guys Zane if you guys can chime in and just take a look at that and, and see if that seems to be like um, see if I'm on point with that so the last person we're going to take a look at in this video is Ray and Ray I think is a headquarter level 16 so Ray's got a little bit better defense um, I really like his design I, I think it's cool um, I may copy this at some point. Um, Ray, you know, there again, I don't know what your success rate is with this defense. It looks pretty good to me. Um, I don't have a whole lot of concerns. If you're not getting three-starred, I think it's a great idea to have the um, resources in the middle there. If you are getting three-starred, I think it's pointless to have them there. So, I mean, if, if you get attacked 10 out of 10 times and somebody gets 100%, and who cares whether the resources on the inside or the outside because they're still getting 100%. If they're hitting you and they're getting one star and, and they're you know barely winning, then I, absolutely I think it's a perfect strategy. I'm not sure how I feel about this big open space. I assume there's a nice you know allotment of stealth tanks in the middle there waiting for someone, but it's pretty obvious that something is there. And if there's not, it's very easy just to come in from the north and you know they're going to take out your metal rain and just drive straight into the south uh, pretty easily. But um, other than that, I think it's a really cool design. So, hey, thanks everyone for watching. This is 
base check number 13. Leave in the comments if you'd like to have your base checked. Um, also, give me a little bit of feedback. Let me know what other things that you would like to see as well. Uh, subscribe, like the videos, and please comment a lot on them. My name is Killshot from 999 Gaming, and look for more videos. Peace.